What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Doing a draft. You know how it goes. You know the drill. Hmm. <laughs> Mike, we are not going, buddy. Also, when I say Mike, Fly MTG is my buddy Mike from Seattle, so that's who I'm talking to. I mean, it's just got to be Oko, right? Like, do we just go back to our soul tie roots? Fucking guy is cradle. Oh, oh, oh god. <sighs> okay, Bloodstain Mire is pretty decent, actually. We can just take Bloodstain Mire. I think it's Bloodstained Mire. Cradle's good. I just don't want to be the same deck again. We're also passing Tooth and Nail. So, like, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of, like, having these green decks that rely on, like, these big cards that put creatures into play and then just never drawing the four green cards that put creatures into play. Like, it's just frustrating. I'm like, there's no fucking reason why we shouldn't, like, draw any of these cards. Like, we even have 16 lands in our deck. So, like, it's whatever whatever man he's just angry god he's so angry I want to take ponder here I'm going to eat some more of these candies because I'm worth it yeah let's draft a ponder deck we did it already happened we're a ponder deck Yeah, you know what they... Oh, God, it went down the wrong pipe. You know what they say. Down here, salt is a way of life. Southern Library is pretty banging. Oh, God, my throat. Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one of two stipulations. We have Philly Dillies. A little big boys. Color doesn't matter. Must draft cards that are considered small and do big stuff or small cards that can get bigger. Examples. Ancestral Recall. A one mana small boy that does big boy stuff by drawing a lot of cards. Or we're going to do uh, Kabbalah. No, not Kabbalah. Um, maybe Kabbalah. No. Maybe? Since there's no guarantee you'll see Bob draft the cards that deal damage to you or require you to pay life. So, small cards that do big things. This is a card, this is a 2-2 that does a big thing, and it's also pretty cheap, so. Uh, Mark, I don't think anything on my soundboard is really going to get copyright stricken. Mostly it just applies to, like, songs and stuff, I think. All right, let's try this. Little big boys, which just sounds funny. Yep, gonna take Cloudy Boy. Lumbering Falls. That's the land we're going for. Also, we're hoping Bloodstained Mire can get us something good. Oh, Baleful Strix? Yeah, I mean, this guy has Death Touch and draws you a card. It's a 1-1 one -one that does big things. Trades up. Little cards that do big things. This is... I mean, this is probably the the smallest card in this pack that does a, that does a thing. Plus, I, I just want to be Sultai. Sometimes, when I get wrecked... I just want to go back to my roots. <laughs> Lived like he died. Eating delicious snacks. It's true. Why use big card on small card to trick? <laughs> That's a solid office reference. It always will be.
Overgrown Tomb. That makes the Bloodstained Mire. Choice. Little Big Boys. This is definitely a small card that does big stuff. Like, this is peak with Little Big Boys. Brazen Bar does big stuff. It does two things. It's a great card to, to, to add to this stipulation. I also kind of like both of these. Not as, like, premier cube cards, but as, like, just, just solid value cards. Oh, Tooth and Nail. That is a little card that does a big thing. No, there's nothing in this pack for us. We'll just take Elspeth Conqueror's Death, I guess. <sighs> Let's take the Rage of Roots ticket just in case. Uh, Dryad of Elysian Grove. It's fine for a three drop. Letting you play two lands a turn. I mean, it's a two, four for three. It's a good rate. It's basically a uh, Courser of Crew Fix. Fatal Push, this is a small card that can get bigger. Literally, it literally improves with Revolt. I'm going to take Trigon Predator. Or Kitchen Finks. Uh, I think Trigon Predator is probably better than Vintage Cube. Oath of Druids is a small card that has huge things. I think our deck looks sweet so far. It's kind of like a Sultai Tempo deck. It's surprising that Borrow's in this cube. Why? Borrow's fantastic. You ever bounced the thing? Yes. <sighs> That's what we were hoping for. I was hoping that we'd set up the deck for Leovold. This deck's just great. Oko, Leovold, Baleful Strix, Brazen Bar, Riftwing, Sylvan Library. It's got literally a few of my favorite things. Demonic Tutor? Demonic Tutor is a little thing, a little card that does a really big thing. I would love this Watery Grave, but I'm not going to pass the Demonic Tutor. Uncle Leo! Dak Faden. Also a little card. I, I consider any Planeswalker that costs three mana a little guy. Especially if they're stealing your your, your opponent's things. And we have a Bloodstained Mire already. And it's got it better than like Mystical Tutor Harmonize. We, I don't think Grave Titan's that little, so... We're basically four coloring it now. And Dryad lets us cast uh, any card for any mana as well. So, little biscuits eating triscuits. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Also, Steam Vent seems really good. Steam Vent's off Bloodstain Mire is great because we can get it with, uh, with Bloodstain Mire, and it's also a blue source. And it lets us cast Dak. So it turns Bloodstained Mire into a blue source. Let's take that. I think Liliana is also a great pick, but I think our three spot's getting a little cramped. And I'd rather make sure we have good mana because I think Dak Faden is definitely worth playing here. Creeping Tar Pit. This is a little land that does lots of big things. Yeah, remember that Grixis deck we played where we didn't have any good lands, but then we still managed to 2 1? And also, I want you guys to remember that 2-1 that deck with uh, Sneak Attack and Through the Breach. I want you to know that in all three rounds, our opponent cast Through the Breach more than we did. And that was one time. So, um, uh, you know, if you guys were interested in, in the odds of me drawing the uh, powerful combos that we draft in our decks, uh, they are low. They are low. I think the correct pick is Regrowth, but I also just kind of want Consecrated Sphinx. So what do I do? This is a veto. It does say... It doesn't say... It doesn't say power. <laughs> Guys, you don't think this is a little card that does big things? 
You guys are like, bitch, that's a big card. Actually, it might be Stone Cold Serpent. Stone Cold Serpent is a little card. It can be a one drop, but it also does very big things when you're like making a 10 10. I think it's Stone Coil. In in honor of the stipulation, I think it's Stone Coil. I also think Questing Beast is for the for the mana this card costs. This does very big things. And I'm kind of interpreting the stip as like cards that do way more than they should for their cost. So cards that are little comparatively to what they do. You know what I mean? I think Thief of Sanity does really cool things. I also think Thief of Sanity is a card you kind of have to deal with. Uh, wasn't there another two drop here? No? Okay. Skull Clamp does some big ass things. Does some big ass things. I'm going to take Skull Clamp here. Everything else is really big. Eh, all these cards. I'm going to take Languish for the sideboard, I guess. Oh, that was, that was looking for the five drop. That's what I was looking for. Oh, Marsh would have been good. Was there a Marsh Flats in there that I missed? Oh, Blooming Marsh. I was like, did I miss a Marsh Flats? Um. Yeah, we'll just take Knight's Whisper. Hypnotic Specter is fine. I like this is this is a this is a nice deck with a high concentration of power in the two and three spots. I am looking for a little more disruption specifically. I'm also looking for like Moxes would be sweet. Uh, I'll take Choops. Actually, Choops kills anything, including like Emrakul, which is definitely a little creature that's that's punching up. Uh, Luca. We're probably not going to play either of these, but Luca is a card, a five mana card that does more than it, it should. Nothing great here. This is actually a pretty terrible pack. It's probably just Inquisition. It's not Frost Titan. It could be Course of Portal. Delta would be great. We can get Steam Vents or Overgrown Tomb. We do have like five fixing lands right now, which is pretty nice. I think it's probably Portal. Like every turn being able to draw your card is nice, or the the potential to wipe the board, which never it's never gonna happen. Roger could be useful, but I'm never going to take it over like a course of portal. I think drawing us a card every single turn is probably strong. <sighs> Mystic Confluence, Primeval Titan. I don't know if we can... God, is Prim like Primeval Titan in no world is a little guy, right? Like, it's just bigger than Consecrated Sphinx. Mystic Confluence is also probably not viable. I don't love... I don't think Vampiric Tutor is great. With so many three drops, like I kind of just want to start playing them on two, but I don't think so. I think we just take one Mystic Confluence for like the top end. We could take Croxa, but I think our odds of actually Croxa is a small top. That actually Croxa fits really well. Heath gets green black, but that's pretty much it. I think Croxa fits a step more than Tudor even. Yeah, let's take the Croxa. That's actually not bad. Um, I like Sylvan Carry added here. We're not tinkering. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. We have Oak. We have Leovold. That's interesting. I think we want Wheel of Fortune. Tropical Island is banging. That's really nice. We can't get it with Bloodstained Mire, but if we get any blue fetch. Plus, it's got to be better than the Redlands because it's one of our main colors. Bayou? Yeah, we're just taking the Bayou. This is like four colors, and I really want my fixing to be good. Plus, our deck looks really good right now. 
That drop does slap. You ain't kidding, buddy. That bayou also kind of slapped. Misty Rainforest. Boing. That's actually great. It can get steam vents, drop, or bayou. Oh, yeah, that's actually perfect. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Our deck looks pretty sweet. This is definitely, like, with nothing that costs more than four in the deck, this is definitely a small dudes doing big things deck here. We could still get past a, um, a Mox, which would be great. Or an Ancestral Recall, I think. I think it's just Simic Sigmund here. I don't think it's Duress. It could be Vivian. It could be maybe Vivian. Like, I do think this does way more than she should for five. I think this is a great Planeswalker for five mana. The problem is, like, with all the action we have on turn two, I really don't think we're going to want to cast a Signet. I think it actually just might be Duress, even. I kind of want Duress. I think it clears the way very, very well. Dark Ritual's decent. The only problem is it doesn't help us cast anything in the deck. Like, if you Dark Ritual on one, like, you can't cast any of these. I think it's actually Black Cleave Cliffs. It's another red source. And we have both Dak, Croxa, and Wheel. Does Yorion do anything? Triad, Dak, Coco, Trigon, Leovold. No, not really. Um, just take Inferno Titan. Actually, Porcelain Legionnaire. It's a two-mana guy. We'll just take Porcelain Legionnaire. We are not white, unfortunately. I'll take Firebolt. I don't think we're going to play it. We do need, like, one more playable. Well, Edric. Pernicious Deed's also not terrible. It doesn't kill Planeswalkers, though, which actually could be good for us. We have Oko deck. <laughs> Unforgiven. Sometimes we just have knights. I'm going to take Edric because you do have Riftwing, Brazen, and, and Baleful Strix. Oh, Raging Ravine is a great pickup at the end here. Rami Knife Excavator, not, not wonderful. I will still accept your, your submission. That Raging Ravine was nice. Back streets, back. All right. Arbor Elf. Vivian came back? Oh, I might just play this Vivian. I think we're taking Skull Clamp out. We don't have a great way to utilize it. You're a two drop. You're a two drop. We'll probably take one of these three drops out. Arbor Elf has Tropical Island and Bayou to untap. And Overgrown Tomb. Unforgiven, I appreciate it. Much love to you as well, my dude. We need one more cut. It could just be Stone Cold Serpent. Oh, Vivian was a small drafting cost that does big things. Wow, that's a great... That's great. I'm a fan. I think it's Arbor Elf. I like Trigon because we don't have a ton of ways to deal with artifacts and enchantments outside of that in the deck. Let's take Arbor Elf out. Arbor Elf's like the one way we can actually play any of these on three, which is pretty good. And we only have two fetches. We have Misty and Bloodstained Mire, right? Like, I don't think that's enough for ramming up. I think it's just pretty mediocre if you don't have a fetch. I think it could just be Stone Coil. I guess we can cut Duress. I think that's fine. Every land is getting played, right? We don't need white lands. That's pretty good. Sort by color. I don't think that's going to work the way we want it to. All right, let's go over here to props. Analysis. Just save this guy over here. Only three red, one of which is Croxa. So 12, 9, 11, with blue being the highest represented. And we need six basics here, all right. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
only two double blue cards one of which we can one of which we can still cast and one of which we can suspend which is pretty good so eight <laughs> what if we made a three cause three three that ruins your opponent's life who is that is that Leovold? he's very good he does all the things you guys talk about backstreet boys and frank singing it and i remember this meme instantly <laughs> Tell me why. <gasps> is, that, is that Ron Swanson? All right, green sources. Second highest represented one. Oh, oh hold on, guys. There's a tricky Rage of Roots ticket in here that we don't want. I, want. I bet someone told me that. Lose Vivian and Dryad? I think Dryad's Dryad's amazing. Like, the fixing in, with Dryad is just bonkers, right? Like, what do you... Like, I mean, we have... We're playing a four-color deck, and Dryad fixes all of our mana problems. All right, so green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine, eight, black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine, eight, no, this is nine, right? How many forests is? One, two, three, how many forests? One, how many forests, you stupid idiot? One, two, technically three, four, five, six, seven. It just doesn't seem like enough for Dryad, for Arbor Elf. I think that's fine. I think it's fine to cut Arbor Elf, rather. I think Duress is just better. Because I want to play Duress so that, like when we play like Leovold into Wheel of Fortune, like we just get rewarded for it. I think it's just good to have that kind of like thing that clears the way. It also hits so many combo pieces in this format. Okay, let's try again. Cutting this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six red. We could add a seventh red. I don't want two mountains, though. I think I'm just going to add another blue. Because, like, all of these need blue. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. All right. We're doing it. Like, yeah, I just don't think we have enough forests to to uh, profitably play in Arbor Elf in our, in our deck. This is actually pretty good. We can ponder, then duress. What land are we getting here? Tropical Island? Yeah, it's 100% Tropical Island. We cannot get a Tropical Island with a Bloodstained Mire, guys. I don't know if you knew that. So we'll get a Steam Vents. Uh... This is what I... Oh, this is actually perfect because of the bayou. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Are we going to do it? Are we going to turn four Leovold and ruin their, ruin their life? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then this duress is going to clear the way for us. Wrath of God, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Mystic Confluence. None of them really matter. So we're going to go turn three Leovold. They're going to have nothing. They're going to go turn three Mentor. Sure. And then we're going to go turn four Wheel. Wow. Wow. I might just play Stone Cold Serpent as a 1-1 one -one here, if that's our plan. I'm going to get rid of Jace. Because if for some reason they draw a counterspell in the next two turns, like we're going to be discarding Stone Cold Serpent anyway, which is the reason we played it out. 
All right, so we know these six cards plus whatever you drew. Prismatic Beast to come down to get a white source for your Wrath of God. Because if for some reason um, they, they're able to counter something for, you know, whatever reason, um, I want them to have Wrath of God, which would also kill their mentor. Rather than having a Jace, which would severely put them back in the game. All right, they get a turn to play Mentor, and then they go to one card, and we get to go. If we hit a land here, it'd be nice too, because then we just don't have to discard a. It's just netting us a card, you know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's one of your draws. So did they draw Mountain and Red card to kill Leovold? Holy fucking shit, that's insane. This is why we got rid of the Jays. That's amazing. Their, their, their draws were Mountain, Incinerate. <laughs> Just amazing. We're going to play Trigon Predator because if they want to play Wrath of God, like, I don't care if they kill these two. <laughs> Just, just spectacular. I, they had, I, I can't. Red, Incinerate. Oh, it's just, sure. Yep, that's what we figured they'd do. That's wild. Like, sometimes it's just actually hard to wrap my head around. I'm like, had to be three damage. Had to be, you had to draw this land because you didn't get it with either of your two lands that fetch lands. Okay, so you played this and this. We have Mystic Confluence, two other cards. Well, now we're just going to attack, play Thief, play Wheel. Remember that time you're going to live the dream, but then your opponent drew two cards instead? Yeah. And then they were like, I'm going to draw the perfect two cards to get rid of a Leovold. And I was like, well, that is your right. That is your right to do. This gets rid of Mystic Confluence. They draw four, we draw seven. So, like, it just feels like a better value for us. Plus, our hand is pretty good here. So, okay. Oh, we got rid of Elspeth Sun's Champion. That seems really good to get rid of. And again, if they want to wipe the board, they have to get rid of their Monastery Mentor, which is just fine. Okay. I mean, we have Ravenous Chupacabra and Oko in hand. So, you know, that's pretty good. Vivian also hits every creature in our deck, which is pretty good. What can we Demonic Tutor for? <laughs> Includes Choops, Oko, Tutor. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a good seven. Our whole deck is gas, though. Individually, these cards are strong, but together they can go to one, two. Uh, I think we're just going to play Choops here to kill this. I, I care more about this because if they have Time Walk, it's just really terrible for us. I'll gain four. Oh, we gain four and then we just win the game? 
Is this because of this guy hits? That's pretty cool. All right. Man, wild. Let's clip our whole deck. Because I want to be able to see what we're fetching and what we can tutor up with Vivian and Demonic Tutor, so. God, I hope this is all of it. Yeah, sorry, that drop was the last of it. I don't think we're boarding anything. We actually don't have a great sideboard. We just have a good deck. <laughs> Remember that time I was literally going to live the dream? And then our opponent was like, Oh, I draw three three damage road removal spell. Oh, shit, I draw a mountain too. These are the best two cards I could have drawn. Oh, this is a keeper, you know. This deck seems great. I think this is the coolest deck you've drafted at the turn of energy. I do. I feel like it's great. I kind of don't disagree with you. I think the only thing it really needs is like an ancestral recall and a mox. <laughs> Which are two cards that do big things. I don't even think Mana Crypt would be that great in here. Soul Ring would be decent. And I would like to say an on-color Mox, but really. Just realize it's you. It's been me my whole life. You too. The problem is, like, we know we're just going to play land on turn one and not do anything, he says, before he top decks duress. No, not a duress. I think we want Sylvan, because if we hit a red source, we can just play deck. Have you learned nothing? You can't show appreciation for your deck. <laughs> RNG's Jesus can smell your optimism. <laughs> Although you said optimism. Opt optimism? I don't think that's correct. Man, look at these suspends. Huh. I think it's library. I think the potential of deck fading is higher than having Cloudscape come out one turn sooner. It's been me my whole life, and it's been you too. God, he's been everybody. This guy really gets around as people. I wish I had a way to stop this ancestral like a Teferi. That would be cool. Oh, no, already? Well, let's just check out that. All right, well, it does not look like Cloud Skate's coming down here. Or not Cloud Skate, Dak Faden. Hmm. Let's just go put these two back. Play Strix. Play Tar Pit. So ideally we'll hit land next turn. Look at this beautiful mana base. Also, if we play Edric next turn, we just get to draw a card. So how many cards do we know on top? We just know the one fatal push. So we're getting two new looks. Jace Smellerin. Okay, what's our play here? They're gonna bring out Riftwing Cloudskate. 
I think it's just Oko, attack Jason, kill it. That seems good. We have no way to deal with Ancestral here. I think we're just going to pay four here because actually I just don't think we need to like next turn we get to Knight's Whisper which is going to draw us two already like I just think we have so many cards right now I can't imagine they have Spell Pierce that would be wild they could have Condemn but I don't think I'd hate that. Like, that's fine, because you have two cards after that. <sighs> Jesus, Contem, two times in a row. Good lord, man. <laughs> Did they bounce Oko here? Like, does that even do anything? Like, we still get to replay Oko and make a food. And then, like, Knight's Whisper Brazen Bar. We got two bonus life off that Condemn. That's true. That's basically half a card. Oh, they're just going to bounce our land? Huh. Well. This should put you up, up, to, my, up to my speed in terms of cards. I think they mulliganed this game on the play, too, so. They traded the mulligan and the Ancestral for three cards. The Jace puts them on par with a strong Nath card. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus six is 13, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That would be the second card they drew with Jace and the one card off of Ancestral, which puts them ahead. Kitty and Jura. Okay. We're just going to bounce that with Brazen Bar. Make a food. But baby, you just ain't seen Oko yet. Can't kill anything with Fatal Push. Ponder seems decent, actually. So we can actually put these back. Keep Ponder and Lumbering Falls. They could have Mystic Confluence, so I kind of just want to bounce this now. But what if they, like, activate it? I'd much rather them try to attack Oko. Any order. Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity. Yeah, I think it's safer to play around Counterspell right now. Push Riffling? I mean, we can never cast Riffling. We can never kill Riffling Cloudscape with a Fatal Push. That is just not how that works, unfortunately. Okay, so they just play Gideon again. For sure. So next turn we can Riffling Cloudscape, bounce it a third time. It's because you can't put a push a bird. Oh wait, we oh man, we need one more land. Dang. Oh, questing beast is is legit. So next time we can Riffling Cloudscape, bounce this, and then... Yeah, okay. Put you on top, because we want to save you. Pay four. Quest. 
questing beast. Steam vents, no. We do have to attack Gideon, unfortunately. Um, we can make this a, f a beast, a food. The problem is if they have wrath, then it's really bad. We don't get to kill anything here, actually. Dang it. We can't, how can we, we can't kill Gideon. That's still only seven. Gideon's at eight. I still think it's probably correct. I mean, they did activate Gideon, right? Cast Gideon Jura during next turn. Yeah, okay. Yep. Seems fine. Make the food an elk after attacks? Why would I do that? That seems worse. What am I missing? Oh, just to block it? I mean, that could be fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, that was an amazing draw. <laughs> Thank you. Chicken run official. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. <sighs> oh, wow. They didn't actually attack. Huh. Bouncing our beast seems worse than bouncing Gideon. It also kills Oko. Yeah, I feel like attacking with this guy was incorrect, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. Language seems pretty bad when they have Gideon on board. <laughs> and we lose our fucking Oko. That's pretty terrible. Meanwhile, they haven't played a single artifact. I don't think there's a single artifact in their deck. You ever got counter that brazen borrower that's been sitting on the stack? That's pretty hilarious, actually. Oh my god, where's Leovold when you need him? I think we're just riffling Cloudskate and then duressing. That seems correct still. We're gonna pay four here. I'm I'm living on the edge. So one, two, three, four, five. Wow, Wrath of God, Winds of Abandon, Incinerate, and Counterspell. Not bad. I think we take the wins here. Because if they want to wipe my whole board, it gives them really good attacks. So I'd rather them Wrath of God kill everything, including their stuff. We're having trouble dealing with Gideon, unfortunately. I mean, we wouldn't have if they had if they didn't have Soa, right? Like because then we could actually bounce Gideon and, and kill that. Oh, I actually have to attack Gideon. So let's do that. And now they're going to block with Sower. So I'm pretty sure they're going to Wrath here. Yeah, and then attack us for six. Dead? How are we dead? Oh, wait. Actually, we are dead. Yeah, because they have Incinerate in hand. 
So all I have to do is go Wrath, attack with Gideon, and center is. Yep, that's lethal. If they see it. I'm pretty sure they see it. I'm tapped out, so I have no idea why you played this untapped, but... Yep. Yeah, just let him do it. Whatever. God, Incinerate coming in clutch every single game for them. Yep. Let's take Dak Faden out, surprisingly. Firebolt actually seems great. It kills Rifling Cloudskate, it kills Sower, it can kill Jace. This guy goes here. You go here. Yeah, alright. No, Gideon's a 6-6. Six, six. It's hard to keep track because every single Gideon has a different power and toughness. Here's a 4-4, four, four, here's a 5-5, five, five, here's a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'm a big fan of turn three Thief of Sanity. Or we can go, if we hit another land, we can go turn three Dryad into turn four Vivian. B -b -b Baby, just ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, biscuits and gravy and Whiskers on kittens, chimney mittens, and yeah, that's actually better. I mean, it could be dryad. It could all. God, thief is so good. They have a regular counter spell too. Worth noting. Yeah, let's let's go thief. The upside on thief is too high. Oh, crack marsh flats get hollowed found counter spell. No, mm, crack marsh flats get basic land incinerate. Probably still get hollowed fountain. Probably take two and incinerate. Okay, I don't know anything that's happening. I guess I can't predict a thing. Oh, they just have regular lightning bolt. My bad, guys. What an idiot I am. Yeah, this is definitely just jolly green giant. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Are you guys ready for absolutely nothing from our opponent? Dryad. Monastery Mentor. Let's get this guy off the board. Interesting. Vivian seems very good here. Trigon Predator. Let's create a 3-3 with Trample. Actually, Vigilance seems good. If they want to play Gideon, I don't want them to like kill my guys. Let's just say Vigilance for now. Vig. So we get to draw Trigon Predator. I don't know if that's what we want to do, but... Probably not, actually. Arctic Avenger, have a good night, buddy. I always appreciate you, my dude. So if I think Wrath, though, we still get to like, keep Vivian. It's pretty good. Oh, they're not playing. I still just want to crack this to get a different card. We have red. 
Oh, we want red to activate though. Let's get steam vents. Leovold on top. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do they have confluence? Because I'm just not going to play anything. There's no settle. Um. I mean, if they want to bounce three creatures here, we can just replay Raging Green, make a guy, so. No, we definitely don't need to play anything. I mean, I think they're picking their modes for Mystic Confluence, bounce three things. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, bounce two things and draw a card. Sure. I would have probably bounced all three. All right. I mean, this is still, yeah, Vivian's still great here. I mean, they have Monastery Mentor as one of their cards, probably Wrath of God, Winds of, that's fine. I don't think that does a ton because we can start making tramplers. What can we get? We can play Riftwing for five to bounce this. And then we can just literally put like something on the board. Oh, Questing Beast seems real good. Interesting. Hmm. I kind of just want to draw the Oko, though. I think if I have Oko and Vivian Reed on board, then they can't really do much. The problem is if they have Wrath, like that leaves them. I guess we still have two lands and a Vivian, but then their their Elspeth still goes to two there. I don't know if there's a better play though. They have five cards, like that's a lot. Four, five. Well, might as well see what happens, I guess. Let's get Questing Beast. Wheel of Fortune on top could be nuts, actually. Oh, wow. I actually kind of want to bounce Elspeth because they can't Wrath and Elspeth next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the Elspeth. Because if they want to play this, then they, they lose all the cards in their hand. Wow, so many of our creatures have Vigilance. And if they want to play Wrath instead, then we just get to go Leovold Wheel of Fortune. And just hope they don't have a Counterspell, I guess. They could have Winds of Abandon, attack Vivian. But then again, like, oh, and then we lose this though. Ugh, is it a May ability? Because I would just not find. Also, us having no cards in hand when we cast Leovold into Wheel, like, that's pretty good. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I really hope you play something dumb after that. Like something completely irrelevant. The thing is, they can't see our, our, our real fortune because it's not revealed. It's just us looking at it. So, like, they don't know it's there. I think the one thing I'm afraid of is like, like counterspell, <laughs> actual counterspell. <gasps> oh fuck, that's it. Oh God. Oh God, the dream has been realized. Is anyone surprised? I mean, they're still at five, so. Frank Luck rears its ugly head. That's tw that's two 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 out of two times that we've tried that in this cube, and they've had the perfect answer. What did they exile for it? Fire ice, sure. So we know they have Elspeth and two other cards. And Elspeth doesn't deal with Riftwing Cloudscape. We have Elspeth one other card now. Oh my god, this is wild, dude. This is insane. This is a May ability. Nope. Cool. So we're top decking Baleful Strix. I mean, actually, we have this, but like, so if they tap out for the, I don't know, three, what is this? Like three. Sure. I mean, Baleful Strix is a draw. One, two, three, four. I mean, another card is Elspeth. One, two, three, four. Activate one, two, three. If I didn't play this, it would have been game. Wow. <sighs> yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, we can't activate both anymore because I'm a moron. And I was like, Baleful Strix, because I was so focused on this. But obviously they were too, because they didn't. I'm pretty sure we can't actually win now. This doesn't have Trample, guys. This They just block it with this guy. <laughs> Play coercive portal. Yeah, that sucks. That would have been 2 0, I believe. We did win the first game, right? No, this is first round. Oh, no. I could have sworn this was round two. 
Oh, that's weird. Boy. Okay, them playing this is actually the perfect thing we needed because this gets through. Uh, unless they drew Incinerate. <laughs> unless they just top decked Incinerate. I also think they have Incinerate now. They're like, oh, good. Or they just drew Counterspell. Incinerate or Counterspell are the two options that they have. Why do you say these things out loud? Because I need to get credit for my uh, incredible ability to predict magic games by uh, running through all the possibilities. I need validation as a magic player. I feel like if they have Incinerate, they could just kill us, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, this would be lethal if they had Incinerate. Well, I guess we could Lumber and Falls and block. Sure. Validation, no winning. I mean, I hope they just minimize this and they just didn't see it. Oh shoot, good game. Oh, we did it, boys. Oh my god, they forgot about the brazen bee. <laughs> Punted and validated. Oh my god. Oh, this would have uh, this this would have been good too. Actually, this would have just killed them. We just firebolt flash it back. That's a fucking great draw. Oh man. Dang it, I was going to say, good game, I forgot. I was so into it. Alright. <laughs> hey, hey, Rob, remember when I didn't cast Brazen Bar because I didn't let Brazen Bar resolve? And then uh, when I finally let it resolve, I won the game? That was pretty cool. Snap keep. Oh, little man's in here too? Oh, dang. I didn't even see little man sneak in here. What are you doing, little bud? Might, you guys might have to hide the event list so little man can... Little man can be seen. Hi. What are you doing, sir? Cat streams in the city. Come on, Mox. Dang. Well, that's pretty good, though. I can back fade in that. <laughs> Little man's doing his scritches. Do they have cryptic command? They can't. They cannot. I got this guy. You got counterspell? They always have a counterspell. I'm gonna pass with four mana with no counterspell, right? I'm taking this. Are they going to Vencer their own Gruul Signet? I don't know why they wouldn't Vencer this. Oh, I guess because they get to kill it. That would be... That's actually pretty next level. Bounce their own Signet kill. Yeah, that's fine. I still get a Signet out of it. You get to look at my whole hand.
Man, this is our hand is value town dot deck. And they get to kill Dak, but we basically traded Dak for Signet and three damage, I guess. Oh, they what did they take? They took Choops for Oko? Oh my goodness gracious. Hmm. We can actually go Dryad into Oko next turn. That's pretty decent. Why do you have the feeling this is a Geek and Quinn deck? I don't know. Blue red deck in, in Vintage Cube. Seems like a pretty easy uh, assumption to make. Now we cannot do the thing we wanted to do so badly. What can you do? Do, 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 do. Really, they didn't play this guy. This guy. This guy. Oh, I guess it didn't matter what lands I tap. I guess it, yeah, it didn't matter because as long as we're able to play the land. That's still pretty decent. See what they discard. Oh, interesting. It said pay costs there. Maybe they were going to sack Arid Mesa? No, that doesn't make any sense. Snapcaster Mage. Are you ready? There's a reason they didn't play this. I'm pretty sure it's Pestermite or <laughs> Deceiver Exarch here. But. Oko, Thief, and Trigon Predator don't do anything about those guys, so. <sighs> yep. 17. Cool beans. Yep. Untap your land. Doesn't do anything, I guess. Could have just tapped my creature. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. There we go. Concede the game, are you ready? Oh, we're in combat. Interesting. Because now I can just Oko this guy. Huh. I guess they, they hope they don't have Resto in hand. Oh, well, they're going to they're gonna play something anyway, so. Okay. Oko. And get rid of this guy just in case. One, two, three, Trigon Predator. Like, I'll trade a Predator for a Vendillion click. That's fine. It also gets rid of their only flyer, which means we can play Thief of Sanity. That's <laughs> and they concede from the game. All right. Oko is a hell of a card, my dudes. It is a hell of a card. I kind of like Firebolt here. It's not a, it's not an instant, but it does kill all three of the creatures that we just saw. I mean, Dak Faden also seems fine. Maybe over Trigon Predator? Yeah, that seems fine. I'm just getting two cards out of the out of the fireball seems nice. Yep. This is a keeperino. If we can draw a Leovold into red source. What happens if it's Planner Twin on the Okode Pestermite? Uh, they make an Elk token. I don't, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, we do have a Dryad. Never mind, we just need to draw Oko. Nice. Okay, now we really need a red... Oh, we don't need a red source. We still don't need a red source. Um... Deck fading. Damn, boy, he fit. I think we might just want to go Dryad here to uh, to play the two lands. Okay, maybe we're just dead. Wow, did we mess up? I feel like we might have messed up here. Do we get too greedy with the Grill Signet? I felt like it was... Nothing left the battlefield this turn, right? I'm not crazy. What happened to the prompt? Usually it would tell you if revolt was enabled, you know? Music helps for sure. Ask away. Oh, we're going to combat. Uh, well, it's a permanent you control. Like, so I would have to control the permanent for it to, for it to leave, for it to trigger revolt. Well, they don't have a second red, except for that Gruel Signet, which we can not steal next turn. Oh God, I think they have it. I think they're just hoping to draw a red source there. Brilliant. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're living the dream. Yeah. Let's get steam. No, we're just getting mountain. We have three sources of blue already. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, they're wearing that? Boo! <laughs> Living the dream! Wow, that was great. Oh, wow. Getting that asshole off the board was wonderful. This guy is what I'm talking about. Man, these matches have been wonderful. Lots of back and forth. Lots of interaction. You know what's funny? If we have Dak Fade and the Leovold out. Uh, it doesn't make them discard two. They can only draw one card a turn. So they draw their one card and discard two. It's draw one, discard two. They have two cards. Like, do we just we just slam Leo here, right? Yeah, sure. You know what? Okay.
but now they have to discard both. So that was weird. <laughs> yeah, that was fine with me because now they're in top deck mode. What? Oh, this is fine. Yeah, you can totally kill my deck. That's 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 wonderful. Do that. Unfortunately, they have no cards in hand, so we're not making them discard anything. But the fact that we get to like play Dryad, draw seven if we hit a land. We did not hit a land. We still get to play Library and Wheel. Is that? We could just play Dryad Library. Like they draw one card. I think that's fine. I think I'd just rather keep the cards, you know what I mean? And if we for somehow are able to get two lands in hand next turn, then we can go Questing Beast and Wheel of Fortune, so. Yeah, this seems fine. Oh yeah, if they just keep tapping out for Colonnade, that's just A-OK. -okay. Well, it's two lands, but one of them comes into play tapped, and so does the other, unless I go to... Uh... If we go to nine here, we can Firebolt Snappy and attack for like a billion. Oh, wait, we just get to play Wheel and... But I don't want to discard Questing Beast, because I think Questing Beast just wins us the game. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I don't think we need either of these, to be honest. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Should have definitely played that first. Wow, they would have been at six here. <sighs> Every time. <laughs> what a struggle. That's all it lands. Um, put on top. Put on top. One, two, three. Oh, why don't we play Rage Marine first? I don't know, because I'm actually not very smart. That was just kind of a... <laughs> oh, wow. So just to be clear, did your mana tithe into... into Lightning Bolt for them to get seven cards. I don't like my brain is actually gonna fucking explode right now. This is incredible. This is amazing. Like, that was incredible. Manatide, Lightning Bolt, Spell Pierce, like, the three actual perfect sh terrible co oh, this guy is your kryptonite. It's amazing. I'm, like, losing... I'm, like, literally tilting very hard right now. And hoping we can come out of this. And I discard... Like, I, I messed up by not playing Raging Ravine first. I should have played Questing Beast first. Uh, does it matter? I'm not sure. I'll just get a Forest. 
just in case we lose Dryad. It's an interesting path. Croxa would have been a great hit next turn as well. We also have Firebolt in the graveyard. Let's not forget about that. Creeping Tar Pit and Firebolt is five. Here comes Vendillion Click Block. Check our hand. That doesn't do anything, actually. I mean, one hit with Brazen Borrower, Creeping Tarpit, and Firebolt is good. Oh, they did have Click. That's pretty hilarious, because now they get to attack for seven. Steal our Chupacabra. That's, I mean, I the, having drawing the lightning bolt for the Leovold is absolutely amazing. Like, it's the most incredible thing I could ac actually, I mean, like, <laughs> having Mana Tithe for Questing Beast, because I play it after Firebolt, because I don't put them on having Mana Tithe, is just... The problem is that the Firebolt could have been avoided. The Leovold could have technically been avoided if I just played it the turn before. But instead, I wanted to get my... Uh, questing Beast countered, so. Let's Demonic Tutor. Let's see what happens here. And this is the best card in our deck, right? Riffwing Cloudscape. Oko. Um, they have three cards in hand. I don't think we know any of them. Hmm. I mean, Riffling Cloudscape seems great at bouncing a colonnade. Four. We could also just Stone Coil for four. It's actually tricky. I mean, the problem is they have four, five, six, seven damage on board, which means. Let's take Stone Coil Serpent. And if they have a counter spell, then they're just going to counter what we get with Demonic Tutor rather than the Demonic Tutor itself, so. Yep. <laughs> Fucking amazing, dude. Oh, wow. Glad there's a game three, I guess. I think. Yep. I think they forgot about Brazen Borrower. I don't know where Brazen Borrower goes on the opponent's board. Actually, it might just be in their exile pile. Or they could just have Incinerate here. And then we're dead. So, we'll see. We get to block. So, I'm definitely going to two here because I think it's just better to get the click off the board. But I guess if they have Incinerate, they just kill us. Jesus fucking Christ. Please play the lottery. 
It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Jesus, man, that's insane. So, Manatide, Spell Pierce, uh, Counter Spell, Lightning Helix, Lightning Bolt. Seems good. Oh, yes, Path for Croxa. Correct. So that we couldn't get that back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't forget to make your land drops. I mean, I'm pretty sure I made my land drops every turn. We had like 15 lands on the board. <sighs> I mean, I think the only turn we didn't make our land drops was when we didn't play Raging Ravine and Lumbering Falls before uh, Wheel of Fortune. It's just like... God, that Lightning Bolt. I'll keep this. I mean, one land we get to play Dryad. Two lands is what we're looking for here, but... I don't know, this hand's probably not great, but... We do have a nice curve. We haven't seen Course of Portal yet this match, so... We know they have Spell Pierce. So that's a thing. Um, we have black, blue. We don't need the red. I think it's just Tropical Island because it turns on Questing Beast. Yeah, let's just get... Every fucking game. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, girl signet. <laughs> One week, no six tomorrow. I've just been locking myself in a room playing music and watching YouTube Twitch channels. Dude, Spencer, congrats, buddy. That's awesome, my dude. Way to go, my dude. That is awesome. Oh, look, we didn't have a, a land to play. Also, thank you for the bits, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Man, if only I could play one of my four drops. Two packs a day. Spencer, that is... How do you afford that? Let's say... Spencer, how much does a pack of cigarettes in Seattle cost? I don't even know how much a pack of cigarettes regularly costs, so in Seattle they gotta be way more than that, right? I don't care about that. Three thirty a month. My dude. That is no bueno. Look at those two four drops. We draw the one like one of three lands that come into play tapped. I guess we also got Black Cleave Cliffs, one of four lands. Uh, I feel like I just want to kill this, but... Uh, 
<sighs> What's the point of this? Oh, cool. They just have like lightning bolt or the other thing. Countering this? Yeah, it's either lightning bolt or lightning strike. Dude, Spencer, think of having 300 extra 300 extra dollars a month, dude. That's insane, dude. I would love to have 300 extra dollars a month. Let's not walk into Mana Leak, I guess. Or not Mana Leak, uh, Man Oh, we they already played it. You stupid idiot. I meant spell pier I don't know what I meant. My brain is fried from this match. Do you think they have Resto, which we haven't seen at all? No, they can still block this and then Lightning Strike or Helix it, which just makes our mana worse, but not terrible. Okay. Well, you got it. So we have Black Black. Green, green, blue, 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 blue. Uh, green, green. Let's get another green, I guess. Sure. We have five cards to our three cards. But I think our cards are better. I mean, Vivian's great. One, two, three, four, six. So is Chorus of the Portal. But they do have Wear Tear and Embereth Shield Breaker. Well, okay, that guy's pretty decent. It's just Vivian. I don't want to. I want to play around Spell Pierce because there's no reason not to. So maybe we can wait till we get one more land for Vivian, and of course they have normal counter spell for that. Why would they not? So this is great because they still have Lightning Helix and Lightning Bolt mana up for the Dryad. Tomorrow will be a year and a half of no alcohol? Holy shit, Spencer, the money you are probably saving, buddy. If I have a pack and about two beers and a plate of spaghetti and I swear it was like 20 bucks, I feel like that is wrong, but also that was lunch and I didn't quit drinking for the rest of the day until I played my set, so wow. Okay, they're not attacking land okay now we're playing around spell pierce let's see if they have snapcaster counter spell Spencer, I'm super proud of you, buddy. Mark, you should also quit smoking, my dude. Well, I don't want to draw that, but... Such is life, I suppose. Uh, let's go with Reach. I guess they kill this, then kill Vivian. That's my guess. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, look. The card we knew they had all along. And then we get to top pick a swamp. I guess we get to play course of portal. That's pretty cool. This is so frustrating. <sighs> Lightning bolt, mana ties, spell pierce. 
Yep. Yeah, I'm just getting aggressive now. Lord, give me fucking strength, dude. Holy shit. Why didn't they play this guy? Why didn't they why didn't they attack? I don't know what's going on. Where they get a mountain. One, two, three, activate. One, two, three, four, activate. I mean, if they have a if they have a lightning bolt, they're probably just gonna kill creeping tar pit and not dryad. I would assume, which they always have the lightning bolt. Like, there's no doubting that. Oh, snapcaster, lightning helix. Sure. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a good play. I mean, it's really hard to make bad plays when your deck gives you literally every card you need in every situation. I feel like your, your deck might as well be on autopilot, to be quite honest. Spell for Oko, Mana Tithe for Thief, Fate Path to Exile for Questing Beast, Snapcaster Lightning Helix for uh, Creeping Tar Pit, Jace the Mind Sculptor. You guys ready for the land we're going to top deck? I'm ready for it. Fascinating. Spell Pierce. 
Oh, it resolved. Surprising. Right now they have to go one, two, three, four, activate this to attack here, and they have two mana left over, so. Swords to plowshares post combat. Okay. Weird. Spencer, I have a feeling if you're saving $300 a month, I, I feel like you could probably get a PC relatively quickly. Activate three, four. Are you guys ready for the spell pierce for the for the firebolt? Spell Pierce! Oh, I'm so good at drawing the perfect cards, you'll see. Yep. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, sometimes you wonder why you wake up in the morning. Because Gucci Gabe's going to get you guys. Oh, Shrine of Burning Rage. That's something. No attacks, so you can protect your Jace. That's actually fairly comical. Sure. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Go Croxa. You can also tutor for duress. Now we have one black available to us. Two, three. Do we play land this turn? Let's find out. No, not yet. One, two, three. Old. I mean, Spell Pierce, Counterspell, and Manatai, they're all in their graveyard. We haven't seen any of their Counterspells. Um, bounce Colonnade. Seems fine. I thought Reddit was like 4chan for most of my life and I would click a bad link and get hacked or something. That's, Spencer, that sounds wild. No, Reddit's much more, uh, much more controlled than 4chan. What if it just has trash now? Or nothing we can't beat. Sure. When you guys eat like gummy candy, do you see like. I always eat like two at a time. I think 
that's actually duress. Wear, tear, lightning bolt, fiery confluence, Karn liberated. So you have trash, is what you're saying. Fiery confluence kills stone coal serpent, which is rough. Let's get rid of Karn, I guess. Okay, so you have wear tear, wear tear, lightning bolt. These are this is your hand, lightning bolt, fiery sure. And a Dirk. I still think I mean with like Celestial Colony, I think we, they can still win 14 minutes. Four minutes, rather. They're going face? No, they're going Edric. Really? I think you could, might have been able to burn me out there. That's six damage. You go to 13. You attack with Colonnade. Fire comps me for six. That's ten. Puts me to three. Look at that Lightning Bull's misplay. Arid Mesa. So I have a feeling you're going to put back Sacred Foundry Hollow Fountain. I always get some scared I got a chip stuck in my tooth. That was pretty hilarious. God, especially you are paranoid. I wish I had a third black source. Wear tear. <laughs> well, I have a black source now. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we don't have two black sources now, so we have to just go like Stone Cold Serpent for like a million. I mean, this forces them to fiery confluence here, especially if they got rid of Wear Tear. Well, they couldn't Wear Tear this anyway. So they can actually go kill this, kill this. Red, red, black, black. That's fine. <sighs> Arid Mesa, Sacred Foundry. I'm going to assume these are gone. I love nachos where the cheese is melted on. This game has been grueling. Oh my god, they're taking so much time, dude. I'm probably going to finish all these DJ Browse Carabos. Haribos? I say Carabo. I know the name of these candies. They didn't attack again? Or they didn't fiery confluence? What in the earth is happening? Vendillion click. This is very strange. This guy has, you know, this guy's just trample, right? So one, two, three, four. Nope. Three with that. Four with this. Karoxa. Get rid of Tar Pit, Misty, 
Fatal push, deck, and wheel. God, if we don't have a black source, oh, fuck, what a dumb move. That might cost us. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Because now they can attack for four, five, six, seven. We go to nine. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Yep, that, that was bad. I think we misplayed that turn. I'm just going to split our twin, right? Cool. Fun games. I hope you win your draft because that's what you deserve when you never don't have what you need. Snap keep. <laughs> that was an exhausting match. And I mean, I was playing a little bit worse toward the end, but we both had low time on our clocks, so. Mm hmm. Fatal push. Dang. Well, we're already boarding in Firebolt already they grow up so fast that was probably the most exhausting match I've ever played in my in my life of magic Bounce the Ran Dynamo now. This leaves up with only six mana next turn, which is, you know, more reasonable. I got two left. I only have one card in hand. Well, two now, but. This might also be a language matchup. Cool, cool, cool. Tough choice. Junior seems like a tough choice. Well, buy you. I'm gonna buy you a biscuit. Let's play Leovold. Man of the hour. What is the sound little man makes? Mow. Is he over here? Oh, that's me. Wrong one. Pow. There he is. Wow, they hit two lands off of one, two, three, four, five, six. They're like, joke's on you. I'm going to play. Well, like, could two on. Like, if, okay, they're in Dynamo, sure. So I think I have two unknowns in hand. <laughs> here we go. Uh, oh, they're just max, maxing their pumps here? That's fine.
So we can go one, two, three. We can play Dryad and play two lands. I wish one of them came into play untapped. The alternative is go Creeping Tarpet like Oko. Attack Vivianos. And if one of these came to play on tap, dry it into Sylvan Library would be wonderful. Playing Oko and just turning one of these into... I mean, if we if we turn this into a 3-3, then we get to lose Thief. <sighs> What's that blue card? It's not an adventure, Spencer. It's a brazen bar. I'll move it over here so you can see it under the ad. When you cast the adventure half, it gets exiled, and you can cast it as a creature anytime it's exiled. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. They have ten mana, so like they just have to. They have. There's only so much time before they hit with Vivian Reed. I think we need the tar pit down, and we need to play. Dryad here. Actually, maybe it's... I think it's maybe Trigon Predator instead. Because it does get rid of Thran Dynamo, which gives them one turn to actually take advantage of the Vivian. So, we'll see. Guys, fingers crossed. Guys, we're crossing our fingers here. And if they don't, if they choose to just kill the Trigon Predator, well, then Vivian Reed is at one, and they don't get a, a hit. So, and we get to draw a card from Leovold. So, come on, come on. We don't know any of the cards in your hand now. Seems good. Okay. Of course, they could have just drawn like Kozilek. <laughs> And now we actually go Dryad, two lands, Oko, or Library, or Brazen Bar, which is pretty nice. <sighs> Why do I fucking talk? I mean, I guess we have Oko. Actually, this is not surprisingly not terrible. We get to draw two, and we get Oko still. And unfortunately, we can't play Oko and Dryad this turn. But. And we lose Oko, right? Like, that's also bad. So that's life. Yeah. But it gets rid of Olmog, I guess. <laughs> For all the good that does. And then they're going to be like, Vivian Reed, tooth and nail. Vivian Reed, I'm going to go land of Woodfall Primus, kill your Oko, attack you for five. No, they'll probably just kill like Black Cleave Cliffs or Bayou. Or <sighs> Island, yeah, it doesn't matter. Man, this deck was really sweet, and these matches have been kind of demoralizing. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> they didn't even activate Vivian Reed yet. They just literally slam their card before they even look and see what their options are. That's hilarious. <sighs> oh, Lord. Cool. Thanks, bro.
Oh, I guess we didn't need to do that, but I guess it doesn't matter either. Drop. Riders on the storm. Oh, good. They have fiery confluence on top. Mossy Beard, what up, man? Thanks so much for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Why would you play this over, like, Warm Coil? I guess because you can... Can you do both? You can't. You just... One, two, three, four, five... <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm done. Absolutely fucking done. Firebolt. Languish. Dak Faden steals at least a, a Thran Dynamo, which is nice. Stone Coil can probably get out. Everything else seems fine. Yeah, I'll just submit with... <sighs> Mossy Beard, have a good night, buddy. Uh, definitely keeping this. We have both Ponder and Knight's Whisper. Um, hmm. Yeah, we have Oko and Leovold here. I'm just going to keep this. Next turn we can Knight's Whisper for free. And then Leovold after that. Or Oko. Fucking god damn it. Sorry, guys, that's really insanely frustrating. <sighs> Still, Knight's Whisper. Alright, can't cast Dak, Oko, or Leovold now. Super cool. <laughs> How? Oh god, I hope this this, this dude can eat my ass, dude. This is hilarious. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Cool Kozilek, bro. Oh boy. Cool game. Blue source one time, I guess, before we don't get to play magic. <sighs> Dude, it never fails. <laughs> Fucking red source. Oh, wow. Cool, man. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.